Howdy, howdy, everybody. It's uh, your old buddy, Jazz McKay. And, um, you know, this whole Black Lives Matter thing, it's uh, it's catching an awful lot of attention. And a lot of companies and a lot of businesses and a lot of people, individuals, not just Hollywood celebrities, but real folks, are donating money to Black Lives Matter. Where does that money go? Where does it go? Does it go to help black communities? Does it go to help uh, underprivileged people? Does it, does it, uh, do, do they raise money to feed uh, young black kids in urban areas? Well, let's find out. First, we have to go to the Black Lives Matter website. Let's go there now, shall we? Okay, so here we are on the Black Lives Matter website. I typed in blacklivesmatter.com earlier, and this is it. You can see it right up here at the top. This is their website. All right, what we have, we have scrolling billboards right here. Uh, what matters, watch and listen. Those will be uh, video reports. Uh, COVID-19 resources, very nice. Yes, a black man walking with his son. I like that picture, actually. Uh, we have, uh, we call for sustainable transformation in our communities, see all the demands. You can click there and sign the petition and see all their demands. Or there's the uh, George Floyd memorial page, poor old George Floyd, terrible what happened to him. Anyway, so all that's there. You scroll down, you've got articles here that are written about Black Lives Matter. You can buy t-shirts right here, the official t-shirts, the uh, Black Lives Matter swag, if you will. But if you look right here, see that big blue donate button? And then there's another one right up here on the right-hand side. This is what they really want. So you want to donate money to Black Lives Matter. You want to make uh, African-Americans' lives better. And you know that Black Lives Matter, you feel like they're a good group. And you want to donate money. Click Donate. And here we have the Black Lives Matter donation page says right here, urgent, fund the movement. We appreciate your support of the movement and our ongoing fight to end state-sanctioned violence. Liberate black people and end white supremacy forever. You want to end white supremacy, don't you? You hate white supremacy. So you go down here and it says donate to fuel our campaign for justice. You've got various amounts already for you here. You can click on 25 or 100, 250, 1,000. Or you can go right there and just type in $10,000 and then you hit continue. So you think you're on the Black Lives Matter website, don't you? Well, guess what? You're not. If you go up here to the top, to the search box, to the uh, where the, uh, the IP address is, you're on a website called actblue.com. Look at this address right here. I, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, secure.actblue.com. Well, you go, what the hell is Act Blue? So you go to the Act Blue website and you look up information on Act Blue, and here you have it in the fine print, as it's stated there. Uh, all this stuff here the laws, the the uh, contribution policies, the refund policies, the cancellation. Po One thing that I noticed right away, though, and remember, you're donating to Black Lives Matter. Right? Look at this. Campaign finance laws. Wait a minute. Political contributions are governed by campaign finance laws. Act Blue makes its best efforts to ensure that all contributions are made in accordance to the law. Blah, blah, blah. Well, wait a minute. I thought I was donating. So let's find out who Act Blue is. Now, there's a website I like to go to use for that sort of thing. It's called influencewatch.org. Influencewatch.org. I did a little search for Act Blue Charities. Act Blue Charities is a pass through, notice that, pass through organization created to facilitate donations to left of center 501c3 nonprofits. It itself is a 501c3 affiliate of the 501c4 nonprofit Act Blue Civics, five, uh, also 527 Political Action Committee. So it's a pack. It's a pack. Well, let's find out some more information about Act Blue. There's a nice website called OpenSecrets.org. See it right there. Center for Responsive Politics, a nonpartisan website. It sort of tracks all these uh, donation groups and everything. If you come down here, you'll see Act Blue Summary, Act Blue Expenditures. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let's go to. 
Act Blues Summary, Spending in Cycles, going back to 2004, 2006. Boy, look at that. Their, uh, their spending has really gone up. Here we are in 20. They really started spending money in 2016 during the presidential campaign. But wait a minute. They're collecting money for uh, Black Lives Matter, right? That's a, that's a civil rights organization, not a political campaign, right? Here is what uh, Act Blues, these are, these are, this is just a summary of everything. Look at that number. That's, that's total receipts. That's total money that they've raised right there in that top. Let's see, 1, 479, 003, 853. 1 billion. This is for the year 2020, by the way. This isn't any other year. You can see that. So far this year, 1 billion, 479 million, 3,853 dollars. That's quite impressive. Here it is, Act Blue. They're located in Somerville, Massachusetts. A little uh, information about Act Blue. We go over here. I'm sorry, that's the same page. I've got that open twice. All right, here we go. This is Act Blue from C uh, OpenSecrets.org. This is expenditures this year for 2020. Notice this uh, big. Uh, blue circle here okay and you notice all that blue and then that little sliver of yellow these are contributions the blue part is the contributions these are the expenditures over here that little tiny sliver of all the money act blue has has uh, collected so we scroll down here we see everything is laid out the rent and utilities administrative consulting miscellaneous Administrative uh, cost $158,856 for this year. We can uh, look down here to what they spend on media. Uh, they don't spend a whole lot on media, I noticed. That's interesting. Uh, let's see. Salaries, right? There. Ooh. Wait a minute. $15 million in salaries? That seems like an awful lot of salaries. A lot of people working there? Well, it's a jobs program, right? Fifteen million. <laughs> this is what Act Blue. They hire a lot of folks. Top vendors, though. Let's see who who's receiving the money from Act Blue. Now, remember, you're making donations to Black Lives Matter. You think you're helping Black communities and Black people. Where's that money go? Well, so far this year, all the money they've collected has gone to the Bernie Sanders campaign. The Joe Biden campaign, actually Bernie, they collected more money for Bernie than they did for Biden. Elizabeth Warren, there's Mayor Pete, there's uh, Democrat Congressional Campaign Committee, $55 million. Uh, let's see, Amy, I'm not sure who, Amy for America, Friends of Andrew Yang, Democrat Senatorial Campaign Committee, it goes on. These, this is where the money goes. So I don't see Black Lives Matter mentioned anywhere in their top recipients of the money that Act Blue collects. Do you? I sure don't. Act Blue at Open Secrets. Again, I take you back to their summary. A lot of money that they've collected here. Where does that money go? Where is all that money going? Where's all that money that Black Lives Matter is collecting on their website? Political campaign contributions. All of them left wing. Amy McGrath, that's it for Senate. Amy McGrath. Uh, but there you have it. That's what you're donating to if you're donating at this site, Black Lives Matter. But that's not Black Lives Matter. It's actually the Act Blue website. There you have it, folks. That's where the money goes. The money that you donate to Black Lives Matter is raised by actblue.com, and then it's distributed uh, to uh, far-left groups and, uh, Democrat and Democrat Party candidates. It's a, it's a political organization, and there you have it. So now you know. Be very, very careful who you donate money to. A little research goes a long way. Um, I'm glad I could help. God bless America. And be sure and go to my Twitch page. That's go to twitch.tv. It's right there at the bottom of the screen. Twitch.tv slash 
The Jazz McKay Show, and follow me on my podcast there. And be sure and go also to my YouTube page and uh, and check us out there as well. So and and on Facebook uh, and and Twitter at the Real Jazz McKay on Twitter, and search me out Jazz J A Z M C K A Y on Facebook. God bless America. God bless our law enforcement and death to the new world order. 